Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. Starting with Controlum 918, Controlum EM client now connects to the Controlum Enterprise Manager server using HTTP and HTTPS standards. All communications between the clients and servers are done via the Controlum web server. A new Controlum web server configuration tool, Manage underscore web server, allows you to configure ports and other advanced web server settings. In this video, we'll look at the manage underscore web server utility and how to use this utility to check for the status of the web server from a command line and then also how to stop and start the web server. From a command line on the Control Enterprise Manager server, as a Control user, enter the command manage underscore web server. This will open up an interactive menu using option number three, web server status, we can check the status of the web server. This will display the connectors on this web server and their respective ports. And also, you, as you can see here, the status of the web server is currently up. We will select option number two to stop the web server. As you can see here, the web server was stopped and the status has been changed to down. By default, web server status in your control and configuration manager is set to up and this will automatically start up the web server after you stop it from a command line. So if we check the status of the web server using option number three, we can see that the web server has already started back up. If for some reason your web server doesn't start up automatically, from the command line on the Control Enterprise Manager server, you can use the command start underscore web underscore server to start it back up. Manage web server can also be used for other advanced Tomcat configuration changes. You can access this by going to option one, Tomcat configuration. For example, in order to change default port of this web server, which is 18080, under this Tomcat configuration manager option, you can select option number two, connect as configuration, then option number three, edit connector, then select the connector that you want to change. Here we have only configured one default HTTP connector, which is using port 18080. Let's go ahead and select that. And here you can see the list of configurations that can be changed for the selected connector. We'll change the port for this connector to 18081 and save the configuration. We will have to recycle the web server in order for this configuration change to take effect, which we can do from the main menu of the Manage Web Server utility. Let's select option number two to stop the web server. Since our web server status is already set to up, once we stop the web server, it will automatically be started back up. This concludes our Control Home Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this video helpful.